channel today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a tutorial using everything I got in my ipsy glam bag for November so this is what the bag looks like it's like a galaxy print you can see it's just really cute and fun I always love these little bags they're great for like travel and stuff to throw in your purse it's just really cute so the first thing that I got is the Tucker Ashley perfecting moisturizer and it just came in this little baggie, so I don't know, maybe so it didn't spill all over. It also says it is a oil-free moisturizer that contains ceramides and all-natural water binding mechanisms for skin. I'm just going to try it out. Oh, it has a little foil thing on it. I hate that. I haven't moisturized my skin yet. This is going to be my first time using it. Oh, I got too much. Oops. I'll just pull on my neck too. Feels very nice and lightweight. This is a uh, travel size item, I believe. So it is not the full size, but I looked up the full size and it is three ounces. This is one ounce and the three ounce one is about $20. So you just kind of assume how much the travel size would be and kind of go from there. The bag is $10 itself and you definitely get more than $10 worth of products. Even though there are a lot of sample sizes in these bags, it still comes out to more than $10 and I love trying out new things. So I really like this bag. Okay, so this is the Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer. And since I just moisturized my face, I'm going to be doing my eyes first. So I'm going to use this. This is a travel size again. Um, and Jessie's Girl isn't very expensive, but I don't know. I still like getting new things, obviously. So I'm just going to be priming my eyes with this. Looks like it's more translucent than a, like, concealer would be. And usually if I do my eyes first, I like to put a concealer down to cover up, like, any veins and things like that. But today I'm not going to be doing that because I want to try out this primer. I am going to be setting the whatever it's called the eyeshadow primer just because it's too tacky for me if i leave it there and setting that today i'm going to be taking the naked one palette first i'm going to be taking the shade naked i'm just putting this into my crease as a transition shade Next I'm going to be taking Buck from the palette and I'm just putting this more concentrated into the crease. Next I'm going to be taking Dark Horse with the brush that comes with the palette, just the little fluffier side and I'm going to be packing that on the outer corner and the inner corner. And then just blend it all up. Next thing from the glam bag that I'm going to be using is the Beauté, I think it is, Basics um, Eyeshadow Pencil. And it's in Sahara Gold or Sahara Gold, however you want to say it. This is a full size item. And I believe it is, yeah, I believe it's $20. So that's really good because the bag is $10. So I'm just going to be popping this in the inner part of our eyelid where we didn't put the dark, dark horse shadow. I'm going to do my brows now. Now it's time for a primer and I'm taking the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. And 
Then I'm taking the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. And I'm in 125 Nude Beige. I'm just using that with a Real, te Real Technique sponge like I always do. So nothing new here. So I'll probably just fast forward through it. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. I'm just concealing where I always do under my eyes, my forehead, and my nose. Now to set that, I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I'm going to bake under my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I also got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago. So this isn't the full size. It's like a sample. But I mean, probably won't go through it anytime soon. So I don't really care. Just taking it with my e.l.f. complexion brush and just bronzing up the face. Now to contour a little bit, I'm going to be using the 06F palette from um, Morphe. Yes, Morphe. I'm going to mix these and yeah, make a better shade. But you have to be so careful with these. They are so big minded. Like seriously. I tap it out off of crazy. And I just, I'm just running along here. Now just wipe away all that powder. Now I'm going to take this baked blush by NYX. Okay. Alright, now we need to highlight our brow bone. And I'm going to be taking Virgin from the palette. Popping that on the brow bone. I actually got a mascara in the bag, which I'm super happy about because I'm obsessed with mascara. I was like, lashes to me are like the number one thing that have to be like over the top and I love lashes. So I actually got the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This is a sample size, like I said, again, they do a lot of samples, which is okay with me. I would like a little bit more full size items, but since the overall value of the bag is over $10, I really can't complain and I get to try out a lot of products, so that's always fun. Alright, so, so far I really like this mascara. It makes my eyelashes look very long and full without looking very clumpy. I mean, I'm not totally against the whole clumpy lashes thing because it makes it look very voluminous. But this one is very nice. It's like very fluttery and wispy and I really like it. So yeah, that's the... Nope. <laughs> that's the Full Exposure Mascara from Smashbox. I'm be using this NYX Illuminator. It's called Ritualistic. I'm just popping it. 
Just pop it on the cheekbones like usual. Down the bridge. And the keep it well. Last thing in the bag is this Trustique little mini matte crayon. And it's in this like red shade. And it's so cute. I love the packaging of this. It actually looks like a crayon. It's so cute. So we'll see. This is a sample size item, I believe. And we'll see how it goes on and how it wears. Oh, that's so pretty. I really love this lip. Oh my god, I am so obsessed with how this look turned out. I think it is so perfect for the holidays. Like, it is so gorgeous. This lip with this, like, eye pencil, it's just so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. I think they really tried to do holiday things for this bag because I mean honestly I got a full face of products like I got this lip I got the crayon mascara and the moisturizer with the eyeshadow primer um I'm just so so happy with this week or this month's bag like November bag was my favorite one so far I think and they hit the nail on the head and I love it for the holidays thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed and yeah that's all I have I will be having more holiday looks coming up for you guys as well as a couple of reviews on products so yeah stay tuned and I hope you have a great holiday season thank you so much for watching bye guys